Scottish Power, as part of Iberdrola, one of the largest energy companies in the world, is focused on delivering to its customers through generating, trading transmission, distribution and selling electricity and gas. Scottish Power Learning realises that a combination of technical and personal skills are not only necessary for the organisation to succeed, but will help support long-term economic growth in the communities it serves. Since it was set up in 1996, it has helped over 100,000 people and directly trained 15,000 young people, giving them the skills and experiences that help them in work and life. We saw some 15 years ago that uh, recruitment into our organisation and more broadly into industry was going to be problematical because of um, lessening educational standards. Uh, so we felt that by introducing these schemes we could get youngsters into our organisation uh, earlier, we could create an affinity between Scottish Power and our community and also provide uh, cost-effective recruitment means uh, into our larger organisation. Ailsa is based at Scottish Power's Hoylake Training Centre and started there as a skill seeker. It was an MVQ level 2 in administration. Once a week I went to Prenton um, and a college tutor came out um, to help us go through all our homework for the MVQ. Um, I was based in Hoylake Training Centre doing office work. I became an office junior so I had on the job experience as well as gaining an MVQ level 2 in administration. Michael was already working for Scottish Power when he volunteered to become involved in the group's community-based programmes as a Prince's Trust team leader. They take teams of 16 to 25 year olds from various backgrounds who may be alcoholic or homeless, that sort of thing, and we put them through a 12-week programme. The teams could be up to 15 people and really just try and integrate them into the community, give them confidence, that sort of thing. In addition to giving staff sustainable skills, while at the same time giving back to the community, Scottish Power Learning's work-based programmes provide more than just technical skill development, allowing its people to grow through developmental opportunities that are literally on their doorsteps, and in doing so underpin commitment to local communities. Well, so far we've had around 15,000 young non-Scottish Power employees training through our Scottish Power Learning programmes. That's had a tremendous effect on their lives. It has created a very positive impact for Scottish Power and its community and has also allowed us to employ staff who have an affinity with us. What Scottish Power have done is absolutely delivered what they said they were going to deliver and, and that has benefited a lot of people, the company included, in terms of reputation. Um, if other large companies did as much, if other large companies provided the training opportunities that Scottish Power Learning has, then think what a competitive advantage that could give to, to, to the, the nation as a whole in terms of productivity, in terms of upskilling. Huge, huge benefits could flow. University graduate Andy took part in the Young Managers Programme, working with and supporting local school children. With being a mentor on the Young Managers Programme, that comes with the responsibility and it was gave me a chance to develop some of the soft skills which I'd been doing in a classroom-based environment uh, during my soft skills courses as a graduate and I thought if I could develop these in a different environment with young people, school children, then uh, that would be a good way of developing and learning and uh, helping myself. We believe it's a win-win for everybody. The community win because skills are increased uh, within the community because of our programmes. Uh, the wider economy wins because these skilled people can either be employed by ourselves or by other community partners or industry. And we win because we get people who have an affinity with Scottish Power, who understand how we operate and are trained to a level that, that we want our employees to be trained to. It's not just about putting money in, it's about using the, the employees that they have who themselves are going to want to develop. So if you've got newly appointed team leaders, if you've got new managers, then why not send them on a secondment to manage skilled seeker teams? Why not send them on a secondment to the Prince's Trust where they learn how to be better team leaders, how to be better managers? They come back into your business and, and again, it's, it's a double benefit, it's a benefit all round. 